welcome, what's up everyone? Mark Lobiner, TigerFitness.com. I've been getting a lot of emails lately and I start off my videos like that a lot, but a lot of these videos I really don't have the mental capacity to come up with topics on my own. And a lot of people have been asking what I'm doing, what my future is, what if I'm competing. Every time I post a picture on Instagram, it's dude, you gotta compete again. You gotta compete again, you gotta compete again. And, and little do you know, you know, well, everybody knows now that just four weeks ago, I was starting on the treadmill at 2.2 speed and zero incline, barely able to walk with the issue I had with my complete abdominal replacement. I mean, I have uh, 40 <coughs> titanium screws in there and it's starting to look pretty damn good. And I'm really excited about where it's going from here, but I'm giving it a Boy Scout try now. I had a um, <clears throat> I had to drop out of one guest posing just due to time conflicts and whether I'll be ready or not. But there is the uh, uprising in Plattsburgh, which is in April, that your guys are going to go to. I'll post the info down below the Facebook page. Please go there. So my comeback guest posing. I'll wear your guest posing natural show. I'm not competing, dude. I'm just the entertainment. I'm fucking Beyonce in the Super Bowl. It's like saying, how's Beyonce singing in the Super Bowl if she's never fucking played a football game? Bottom line is. I'm there for entertainment. That's all I do. That's what I'm there to do. And I'm going to try and bring the package, the shred, the package. Yeah, my balls. No, but, but here's the deal. You can't fuck with your balls. Here's the deal. I don't know if I'll be ready. But either way, we're going to have Doug Miller there, Alberto Nunez. We're going to have a ton of other people, Matthew Liller. I mean, I have to get the fucking list. There's so many damn top-level pros that are going to be there. And... Um, put on by Ron Parmeter and Dave LeClaire, but it's going to be the most epic event ever, and I wouldn't miss it for the world. However, for me to step on stage in less than low blinder like condition <sighs> wouldn't be right. However, I'm going to give it the best damn shot I can. So I am with, um, I have John overlooking what I'm doing, and John Hollywood, my partner in crime through Hollywood Militia, and um, I trust John. He's the one who helped guide me to my pro card win, um, and I am... Um, I'm just gonna give you a rundown of what I'm doing, a couple of supplements I'm taking, <clears throat> and what my training is and why I'm doing it that way, as well as my cardio. Let's start out with the easy stuff. Let's start out with macronutrients. My macros are 400 grams of protein. A lot of people might say, why so much protein? I weigh about 240 pounds. That's literally a little over a gram and a half per pound of body weight. That's not a lot. Now for you little dweebs who weigh about a buck 20, that is a ton of protein. Now even for a natural athlete, I'm not claiming shit either way. I know y'all trying to catch me on that, but for a natural athlete, one to 1.5 grams is generally where I like to go depending on the phase of the diet there. You know what I mean? So I don't see that being an absurd amount at all. Also at the start of the diet, you want to start a bit higher. Um, my carbohydrate are 360 grams of carbs. I started my diet at 300 grams of carbs when I first had my surgery. So it's up to 360 due to my increased activity. My fat level is at 70 grams of fat. John and I have very similar ways of structuring things. What he does is he keeps me from cutting too fast and he also keeps me in check. So John is uh, absolutely an amazing asset and partner to have in my corner. And because I'm his partner, he doesn't charge me. Yes, gay for pay. He does charge me, but it hurts. It hurts in many different ways. Cardio is at four sessions. <clears throat> what kind of cardio am I doing? 30 minute, medium intensity, steady state. The reason I'm doing that is at my current level of leanness and how my body reacts. Right now, we do not need high intensity interval training. I prescribe that to my clients for the vast majority of them. But for some clients, especially larger individuals like myself, high intensity interval training is not always the answer. And for me, I'm going with um, MISS. Also, I do have the, um, I have the, I throw in Tabata training on Sunday, sometimes at Dr. Stu's. And so that's also accounted for. And I don't know when it's gonna happen, so it might happen this weekend, might happen next weekend, but I will do that Sunday morning. As for my fat burning, um, you guys know I take some, I take certain things. I take NR, uh, HPN NR. I love it for its fat burning effects. I love it for mental acuity. And I just think it's a great overall health product. I really do. I take my machine greens religiously. Um, things I never talk about, Chris Jones actually put this in a video um, the other week is my, it's honestly, it's one of the best selling fat burners online right now. It's number one by a mile on Tiger Fitness. It's Drop Factor. And there's me, look, look how sexy I am, look how sexy I am. Look at that sexiness. Anyway, check it out. This is my baby. Um, I formulated this to have the greatest amount of ingredients in there, the applications, doses of key compounds. It's not one of those blow your brain out of the water type stimulants. 
It gives you a nice energy boost, gives you a nice push. I'm taking that two times a day. Now, since I train in the morning, I'm taking my pre-workout before training at around 8 a.m., okay? I'm taking drop factor out on noon, and then again at around 3 p.m. I'm sorry, 4 p.m., and those are my doses. I'm also taking Yohimbine. You gotta realize there's Yohimbine in this too, so account for it. So I'm taking five to six extra Yohimbi caps a day with my doses of drop factor. Doesn't matter if you're in an insulin-deprived state. As long as your insulin's not completely spiked, it's not black and white, it's a gray area. So as long as you don't have insulin through the roof, I don't believe it affects fat burning at all um, from Yohimbine. So I take it when I take my drop factor, since my insulin levels are always pretty well controlled. Um, and that's the gist of the diet. Now my goals with this whole thing, I'm not, I'm kind of cutting right now, but right now I've had four weeks of not inactivity, but where I wasn't training optimally. Now my training split is something I'd like to get into. I'm doing a four day a week Dorian style split. I'm doing legs on Monday, on Tuesday, I'm doing chest and biceps, Wednesday is off. Excuse me, Thursday I'm doing back and rear delts, and Friday I'm doing shoulders and triceps. For abdominals, I'm doing a lot of functional work. I will have a video on those coming right up. You've seen a lot of my Dorian training from Australia and also from home this week. And um, I'm just be going beyond failure. It's where I get my best results and where I feel it, it ha helps me the most. I have a very short attention span, and I tend to just get bored of more than one set. So by doing one set, I'm really just interested more in training. I get a lot more weight and a lot more reps with a lot better form when I do just one set of each exercise, and that's why I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, with that said, other supplements I take, you know, I got, you know, fish oil, obviously. Um, Pre-workout is my clash, and I'll throw an HPN P3, and when I really need to pick me up, Vortex. You know, I'm not really through the roof on supplements. You guys should know that <clears throat> my line is mainly basic supplements based on food. I gotta tell you though, it's gonna be an awesome having this cookies and cream way. Dude, I guarantee you it's gonna be the best tasting way you've ever tried. I'm beside myself. And those of you who say, oh, well, there's other ingredients. Look, it has cookie bits in it. There's no, there's no cookie bits without some corn syrup in them, but it's very minimal. If you look at the macros, there's three and a half grams of fat, six grams of carbs, and 25 grams of protein. Literally one extra gram of carbs and fat for the cookies and cream. It is what it is. That's to put the gourmet in front of it to let you know that it's not exactly the same as the base is the same. The cookie bits are the only difference, but they set it off and it's worth that extra gram of carbon fat. Trust me on that one. But on that, man, I told you guys it's going to be a fucking kick-ass comeback. I gave you my word. I will give you the comeback that no one's ever seen before from such an extensive surgery. Four weeks into it, I still get those comments about Snap City and this and that, but guess what, you kissed my ass. I'm held together by titanium. That shit ain't going anywhere. And frankly, I ain't squatting, I ain't deadlifting heavy right now, so not, nothing's going anywhere. So at the end of the day, I promise you something, I'm following through on that, and I give you my word that I am going to, when I do come back, whether it be in four weeks, or whether it be on the NABA Pro stage, I'm gonna bring something truly special. To the bodybuilding stage once again. Will I compete again? I don't know. Will I bring some sick shit for this uh, guest posing? Absolutely. Another thing about John Hollywood, I'm going to link below a Facebook page he has for him. Also, they made him change his last name um, from Hollywood on Facebook to um, Moriera, M-O-R-E-I-R-A. So those of you who follow John Hollywood, it's now going to be John Moriera because Facebook had an issue with Hollywood as his last name. Well, because the fake ass name must be real here. But I will link below John's page. Once again, guys, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. That's my prep. And remember, you know, I, I really, you know, everybody goes, fat burners, they work, they work. Here's the deal. You can't go wrong with caffeine, coleus forskali, theobromine, synephrine blend. You got a, a polyor and healthy ORAC blend, which has your ORAC value, your high vegetables, your high nutrients, your antioxidants, impositine, yohimbi bark. You can't really go wrong with this formula. And that's why I'm so excited about it. And that's why it's one of the best sellers. It's word of mouth. Do you see me in any print ads? No. But it's crushing it. So, um, God, God, I gotta love Drop Factor. I never really talk about it on here because it just, you know what, it, it's, it's easy to put like a place, you guys get mad when I mention products and I try not to as much as possible. At the end of the day, I gotta make, yeah, I gotta promote things, but with whey, it's easy. MTS whey is so good, it's tasty, everybody takes away. Once you start mentioning fat burners, people call you a sellout and this and that, and I just avoid it, I just sell it based on its merits and word of mouth, I gotta tell you, it's been crushing it and for very good reason. You'll love it if you try it. I'm Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Because getting your abs replaced and making a comeback, it's not a game.